Hello and welcome to another video and where I show you 10 tips and tricks how to improve your HM2 sound. So first a little disclaimer here, I show you 10 tricks or tips isolated and you can always combine all those tricks. And I show you some beginner's tricks, some intermediate tricks and some advanced tricks. So maybe here are some tricks or tips that you already know or you think, well, this is kind of obvious. But I was a beginner myself and I didn't think that those were obvious and that's why I included them. Another quick disclaimer here, I dialed the sounds in very quickly and I didn't took time to dial in the best sound. It's just there to give you an option and therefore there are of course better solutions and you could dial in the amps better than I did. It's just to show you what is possible. If you like what you see here, please consider subscribing. It helps me a lot. It helps uh, growing the channel and um, it basically helps me continuing my work and bring the glory of HM2 or death metal sound in general to a more brighter audience. So, well, would be cool. And now let's start with number one. Play around with the amp controls, especially the gain. If you crank the HM2 to full, it's basically your one trick pony you just activated or deactivated. Um, play around with the amp controls. I prefer setting everything to noon and then turn the different knob. As for the sound demo, I'll be using my Boss HM2 made in Japan uh, with everything on max into an Engel Severe amp model. It's based on an Engel Savage into a Jens Bogren Greasy Beard IR. Try different channels. Most of your amps will have at least two channels, maybe even three or four channels, and every channel sounds way different with your HM2. So try different channels. You think the HM2 is a distortion pedal, therefore you should put it in front of a clean amp. Well, think again, maybe use your crunch channel or even your high gain channel. Just try different channels and use what sounds best to your ears. Uh, for the demo I'll be using once again my uh, Boss HM2 made in Japan and for the amps I use the EVH 5153 models of the Fractal Audio, the blue channel, the green channel and the red channel. Play around with the controls on your HM2 pedal. Uh, we always talk about every knob has to be on max, but that's not totally true. You can play around with the distortion control as well as with the low control. I personally wouldn't play with the high control, but you can do so as well. Um, or maybe even the level control. You can reduce the bass, you can get a clearer sound. Um, just be aware of that you can set those knobs otherwise as max and still get a chainsaw sound. For the demo, I'll be using my Boss HM2 made in Japan into the EVH 5153 red channel emulation.
buy another pedal. If you don't like your HM2 sound, you maybe have the wrong pedal. So buy another one. Two of my personal favorites are the KMA Audio Machine Wurm and the Lone Wolf Audio Left Hand Rough Deluxe. Those two units never failed me and I almost ever get awesome chainsaw sounds out of either of those pedals, regardless of the amp or the channel or what else. So if you're not satisfied with your chainsaw sound, think about upgrading. Other pedals have more functionalities, um, more controls, uh, more bands for the EQ, maybe even a fre frequency control and whatever. So think about upgrading. I myself did several upgrades uh, because I wasn't really satisfied with the sound. Um, as for live, I initially started with this Anarchy Audio HM2 clone, but I thought it was too dark sounding and it didn't cut through through the mix. Um, but I still didn't want to spend high money on my HM2 pedal. That's why I upgraded, well, upgraded, it's not, doesn't sound right here, to the Behringer HM300. And I played this for some years. Um, then I found it Nightbearer, and for Nightbearer, I didn't want to use the HM300. So I bought another Boss HM2. This one is made in Taiwan. After playing a couple of shows with this pedal, a Lone Wolf Audio uh, came to me and said, well, you know what, I like your music. Um, let me endorse your band and I am um, now an endorsed artist of Lone Wolf Audio and I'm very lucky that I now can be able to play with my left hand breath. This is a uh, limited edition with a blend control. Um, and well, if this breaks for whatever reason, I don't know. I don't have to worry because it's uh, so pricey. I can always get a repair and I uh, can talk to Joe and we figure things out. So. This is my evolution of the pedals. As for the demo part, I'll show you three different pedals, the aforementioned uh, Left Hand Breath Deluxe and the KMA Audio Machine Wurm, as well as the original Boss HM2 made in Japan. Uh, for the amp, we are still using the EVH Red Channel emulation. Use a noise gate. For this tip you won't hear anything because I want to make a dedicated video out of this. And um, But overall uh, just use a noise gate. Uh, those HM2 paddles really add a lot of distortion and they amplify your sound as well as the noise enormously and you probably run into noise issues. Um, just use a noise gate. Uh, most of the time it really doesn't matter what noise gate you use. Uh, if you use one it's totally fine. Uh, you have ones with FX loop, you have ones you put in front of the HM2 clone or you put it after it. Maybe your amp even has one. Uh, whatever you're playing around, uh, use one. I for myself uh, currently use the noise gates built into my Fractal Audio uh, devices, but I most probably will upgrade to the Lone Wolf Audio Endless Blockade. Um, I previously used the Boss NS2 and it was okay, but I found out that the Fractal Audio devices come to equal results and so I got rid of it because I have more space on my pedal board. Boost your HM2 sound. We're coming to the intermediate section here, or well at least I think those are some intermediate tricks. Um, and you have to buy another pedal to do so, um, just boost your HM2 sound with an overdrive pedal. Uh, lots of guys do this and they claim that the sound becomes tighter and more controllable and at the same time uh, you get more gain out of your HM2 and uh, therefore it's a cool trick to try. You can basically use every overdrive you want, um, for instance a tube screamerish like this Maxon OD808 
or the, my favorite, the Boss Super Overdrive SD1. Um, for the demo, I will be using this SD1 overdrive into the HM2 made in Japan, and this goes into the green channel of the 5153 emulation. Blend your HM2 sound. A negative aspect of the HM2 chainsaw sound is that it really uh, can get muddy and you don't hear every note you're playing. And an easy solution is to use a blend feature. This could either be you put your HM2 pedal in a blend pedal or in a loop pedal with the blend control like this one control mosquito or you buy an HM2 pedal that already has a blend control built in. And there are a couple of solutions. Um, Lone Wolf Audio has countless options as well as Tony Peppers, you can buy, uh, build you one. Um, Electric Roots Contagious has a blend function. For the demo, we'll be using the Decibelix uh, Angry Sweet version 2 with an added blend control into the EVH 5150 red channel emulation. Put an EQ after your HM2. You can shape the HM2 sound by placing pedals in front of it as well as placing pedals behind it. And I really like putting an EQ pedal after the HM2 to shape the sound even more to your liking before it hits the amp. You can basically use any EQ pedal there is, the Boss GE7, the MXR 10 band EQ, Mesa Boogie, 5 band EQ, but I really like the Lone Wolf Audio 6 Hammer EQ for this. This pedal is designed after a SEC console EQ curve and it's basically, its only purpose is to um, improve your HM2 tone. Therefore I almost always use it after my HM2 sound in a recording situation. However, uh, you have to be careful, the EQ doesn't sound good with all amps and um, you have to well you have to find out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. For the demo we're using my Boss HM2 made in Japan into the aforementioned 6 MIQ into the 5153 Blue Channel emulation. Add another distortion pedal in parallel mode. Now we come to the really advanced stuff. You definitely have to step up the game, uh, buy some, well, pedals that are more pricey than others, but in my opinion, it is totally worth it. It's a kind of like the blend trick, but stepped up a bit because you, uh, with the blend control, you are blending in clean signal, but 
maybe you uh, want to blend in another distorted sound and therefore parallel mode is totally cool. You have two options for this. Um, option one is you buy a particular parallel pedal that lets you blend pedals in parallel like the KMA Audio Machines Tyler Deluxe. This is the best pedal out there for this application. So if you want it, you basically have to buy this. All the other ones are not good. Another option is that you buy an HM2 clone pedal that already has an FX loop. Um, for instance, the Cleartone Grindstein or the Lichtlam Audio Breathe Die. For the sake of this demo, we'll be using the Lichtlam Audio Breathe Die. And in the FX loop, we add the Lichtlam Gehenna Mark II and those go into the green channel emulation of the 5150. Go parallel again, but with two amps. Instead of adding a parallel distortion, you can always add another amp to your setting and run your HM2 into both amps and dial them in differently. Most of the time, those will be a more driven amp and the lesser driven amp, but well, you basically can do whatever you want. For the sake of this video, I'll run my Boss HM2 made in Japan into both an green channel and the red channel emulation of the 5153. If you do this not in the digital realm but uh, analog you need a splitter paddle, an easy AB box is sufficient or you buy an HM2 paddle that already has two outputs like the Arion Metal Master for instance. The bonus tip, compose with the HM2 in mind. If you don't know what I mean, well, um, like this video, because uh, when this video receives 100 likes, I think it's okay, I think this can get 100 likes, I'm going to release a tutorial on how to compose with the HM2 in mind. What riffs you can do, what riffs you can't do, what riffs sound good, what riffs doesn't sound good. So those were 10 tips and tricks how to improve your Boss HM2 sound as well as one little bonus for you. And uh, now let me know uh, which tricks did you already know, which were new for you. Do you want to see another specific video for a specific trick? Uh, write everything down in the comment section. So and as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I talked earlier about this um, may the force be with you and have a nice day.